So it's a little bit of a late night here at the studio. Well, not late night. Who the fuck am I kidding? I'm usually up till six o'clock in the morning anyway, so it's not really a late night. This is lunchtime for me. <laughs> Anyways, my desk is littered with what remains of my projector. And here's the lens. I'm about to pop this metal piece off the back because that's where the DLP sensor thingy is. There's my color wheel and the little tiny holes where the light goes in and then it reflects off of this little... Hold on a second. This is more complicated than it looks, people. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can do... No, I can't actually. Nope, anyways, so what happens is the light goes in through this side and bounces off this little black mirror on this side, hits the back, and then comes out the front. So here's the bulb, really, really fancy looking bulb. What does that say? Uh, yeah, anyways, that's a replacement bulb for the thing. Uh, there's the circuit board, all the screws, all the pieces for the inside, completely and utterly gutted. I pulled the whole thing apart. Um, I don't know which song I was listening to before, but it was so good. I don't like that song too much. No. 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 That's groovy. Oh my god. Okay. So, uh, what happened was, um, and I'll give you the reason why, because I think I already talked about what happened, was I was sitting at home, and I recently, I got a, a pretty powerful green laser at home. And, um, what I was doing was bouncing it off everything, and of course, I know it's a DLP, which means digital light projection and d usually DLPs are controlled by microchips with mirrors and stuff like that on it so my rationale was oh well if I shoot a laser inside the lens or whatnot maybe it'll reflect out in some really kind of cool pattern not realizing that the power of the laser would be amplified by the lenses to a very very small point and therefore burning in the pixels <laughs> Dirt. yeah I'm a professional um, so that's what I got going on here. I'm about to take this panel off and see what happens. I can't really put the camera down while I'm doing it, uh, or maybe I can. Okay, so now we're gonna peel off this motherfucker. Very, very carefully. And if it doesn't go very, very carefully, then at least it'll be on YouTube. Yes, it's unplugged. Come on, magnets. suspicion that this was glued together. I do think it was glued together. I 
and this was uh, just the heat sink for the, the sensor. Okay, so that means I have to unscrew something else. I'm just, I'm doing, the projector worked fine. Let me just say this. The projector still worked, I had lines across it. So now what I've done was I've detached the heat sink from the back of the DLP sensor, which is the actual mirror system. Yeah, the actual mirror system, which gets coupled with the circuit board on the top end. So, pulling off this back piece here should reveal the actual sensor so I can check out the damage, which is what I'm doing. I'm trying to just verify the damage. See if I can't massage it back to life. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Must use the right tool. It could go very, very badly. I could not have a projector after this at all. So, definitely give an update of that. Deep house mix is great. I love this shit so far. That's awesome. I'm going to do that one again. Oh, there it is. There's the actual sensor. See, it's a mirror. I can't see a goddamn thing on there. Oh, and of course, now I've exposed it to the air, and this was probably put together in a clean room, so now I might have all kinds of fucking dust particles inside the, uh... Think of this stuff afterwards. That little, 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 tiny, tiny little centimeter and a half mirror that's there you can see reflecting all that stuff in the yeah that little little tiny mirror is what reflects all 720 PhD images onto the wall through that hunking fucking lens in the front and I don't see any kind of damage there at all so really there's not a whole fuck lot I can do about anything right now. Even if there was any damage there, it would probably be microscopic anyway, so I'm ill-equipped to deal with it in this atmosphere. So, lesson learned. Keep your goddamn laser pointers away from CCD and LCD and the screens like that. It will affect your cameras, it will affect the CMOS chips, it will affect DSLRs, as long as that sensor is exposed to, to directly to the lenses, it's gonna fuck your shit up. Don't do it. Wow. Okay. Done. I'm out. Ah!